Okay, let's see if we can't go ahead and automate this process a little bit because it's taking forever. Taken forever. So, we're going to need something that can pull the finished product out of the middle pedestal, but it's going to need to not pull out the Payless crystal block. And I think we can probably use an advanced ESD, LPEX slot device, uh, also known as the Ethereal System Dude. So we need an ESD, a coil, that's actually very easy. Very, very easy. Do we have an ESD? We do. The Expelling Sugar Dagger. And let's see, what was the rest? Piece of black quartz, piece of red stonia, and an advanced coil. And we need another, another four. Yeah, I think that's right. Not you, not you. Wow, misclicks. One, two, three. There we go. And I think that will let us put a filter. That's easy enough. We have just enough iron bars. Filter, go. Okay. So, if we right-click the item filter, we can stick an item in there. And it's not the actual item, it's a ghost of it. And that will set that item into the filter. So, and I believe, let's, let's check it out here. Yeah, so the advanced ESD, the old ESD, it just grabs whatever, right? You tell it where to pull from and where to push to, and it just does it. It doesn't care what's in there. If you take the item filter on the inbound side and you say whitelist, that gives you a list of everything that it can pull. Or you can switch it to blacklist, and now that gives it a list of everything that it cannot pull. So if we wanted to, we could put the Payless Crystal block in the filter and put it on blacklist and then the ESD would say I can't pull a Payless Crystal block out. So either way would work. This way is a little more obvious. So we'll go with that. Respecting metadata? Sure, why not? Ignoring NBT? NBT is often used for the durability of an item. So you may not care if a shovel is damaged or fully repaired or whatever. Or a dictionary. Um, you probably know what that is. Different, different mods add different copper ores. They add, add different um, nickel ore like what we have. If you ignore ore dictionary, it'll pull all copper ores or all nickel or whatever you put in the filter. Mod mode. Um, yeah, so instead of looking at the item that's in the filter, it will look at the mod of the item in the filter. So, for example, this is an actually additions item, and so if I stick that in here, it'll say, okay, I can pull everything from actually additions, any item from it. And the other side is the same way. If for some reason you want to pull the item out, but you don't want to push it in to the other block, you can do it that way. That would be kind of weird because you would end up with an item stuck there. But, oh well. That's how that is. So we're going to need a little bit more and we'll be ready to set this up for automation. Okay, so we're ready. Um, oh, I was going to say, that sounded like an item breaking sound. Yeah, that's what it was. He had a helmet on. And uh, this is actually a vanilla thing. If a zombie or a skeleton is wearing a helmet, during the daytime they will not catch on fire. But their helmet will continue to take damage. So I did hear that guy's helmet break. 
And then as soon as his helmet broke, he started catching on fire. Uh, <laughs> so what I was going to say was, squirrel, squirrel, what I was going to say was that um, we have about 40 iron in the entire base. We're going to have to do something about that. We're going to have to get some more iron. So what we're going to do here is we're going to stick a hopper on the side of each of these display stands. And then we're also going to stick one here on the back of the empower. We're going to stick the correct items into each one. There you go. You've got that. You've got that. And you can see it's pushing them in there right away. And then you have that. Okay. So now the last thing we have to do is actually pull out the item that we're looking for. And how about we go ahead and make a chest just, just for kicks and giggles. And we'll put that here. Okay, so we've already made our list. We'll stick that here. And that list has the empowered Payless crystals in it. And so it's going to be pulling from the, is that west? Yeah. So the inbound will be west. There it goes. So it pulled out the Payless crystal block, which meant the hopper had room to stick the next block in there and everything else was loaded as well and so it'll just automatically do it um, so now if we want to make big groups of stuff in the empower all we have to do is load up each hopper and it'll go through all of them until it's finished you know crafting what it needs to finished crafting what it needs to oh i believe the esd it won't stack even the same item that can stack it won't stack it inside of itself it has to empty and then it will try to grab the next thing so it looks like we actually did need this chest after all and this is north yeah that's north so outbound north it'll push that one out it'll push that Huh. We'll switch this to blacklist. Yeah, okay. So we had it set on whitelist, and that means all of this stuff is okay to push. Well, what's on the whitelist? Nothing. <laughs> so nothing is okay to push. We switched it over to blacklist, and it said nothing is not okay to push. So anyway. So that's a really quick and easy automation for us to set up our empower. Um, and that'll actually, that'll serve us for a good long time until we start doing, you know, something like applied energetics auto crafting or something like that. Yeah, that's going to be really good for us to handle big batches of stuff. <sighs> but we still have to wait. While we're waiting on the empowerer to finish doing its thing, let's see if we can see it from here. The angle is just wrong. Ugh. Anyway, while we're waiting on that, let's go ahead and make a couple more garden clocks. Uh, because we need some more crops to be grown. So if I remember, we will need ooh, we'll need another iron mechanical component. One copper four iron. We are running low on iron, but we can still spare four. Wherever it is. Yeah, it's over here in our output chest. One, two, three, four. And our copper. That will get us another one. And then we needed some... What was it? A lantern and glass. Oh, that's easy. 
but we only have one more lantern, so we'll have to make a new batch of lanterns. And that's the glass. So what does the lantern take? Two glass panes, two iron plates, and some glowstone. Okay. Glowstone, iron plates, right? Uh, we're going to need more iron. Everything takes iron, man. Everything. Everything takes iron. Okay, let's get our hammer. Hello, hammer. A couple of iron. Now we're down to 36 iron. And that should give us enough to make the lantern and a pair of garden clocks. Yeah, excellent. So, I was thinking we could switch out the cactus and start growing some sugar cane. Um, we're going to need to grow some carrots because we've got villagers that desperately, desperately want to give us emeralds. <laughs> they want to give us emeralds for carrots. So, okay, <laughs> I'll do that. I'm not too proud to take advantage of that. Um... Yeah. Oh, we're going to need lasers. Look at me, I remembered. Lasers. If only I could remember where I kept them. There they are. Do, 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 do. Coming along nicely. Oh, we're going to need more pipes. Yeah, we're going to need more pipes to finish building out the um, water supply. Oh. Well, let's go ahead and switch this. That should fill up pretty quickly, too. Uh, okay. So if we want this to auto output, it'll output here. And then we'll have another crate thing here. So that means the next garden clock can go here. Huh. That's a little cramped. How about we just go ahead and move it over? Yeah, actually I just got an idea. Um, so we don't have to worry too much about about these being right next to each other. But we are going to need space to put pipes back there. So the pipe will come out here and that will water both of these. Yeah. Um, we need dirt. Carrots and potatoes. We'll get the dirt here in a second. What did I just do? No, you don't want to let me do that. I have not regretted carrying around these scaffolds ever since I made them. They've been super handy. Especially now that my night slime shovel just tears them to pieces. So, I would kind of like to bring back some storage drawers too. So we'll get some pipes, which are going to cost everybody together. Iron. <laughs> We're going to spend some more of our precious tiny supply of iron to make some pipes. And uh, before I forget, let's take a couple of pieces of dirt. <sighs> and we'll go ahead and make the storage drawers that we're going to use too. So this time, instead of using the regular storage drawer, we're going to use a... Is there a spruce version? That's dark oak. Spruce? Yeah, that's spruce. We're going to use the double drawer. And the reason being, we can have two garden clocks sharing one drawer, basically, that way. Oak, spruce, don't have... I see. We needed a little bit more of this. So I think it went like this. Am I wrong? Am I right or am I wrong? 
I am so right. And that'll make sense here in a second. Um, pipes. Oh yeah, I already took pretty much all of my iron. So let's see, if I remember, it goes something like something like this is that right? maybe you have to switch it up no <laughs> not even close pipe right here oh that's different is that more expensive or less expensive? Um, I guess it's a little bit less expensive than it used to be. That recipe that I tried to do, I think that was the 1710 recipe. Um, as usual, I'm trying to use the 1710 recipe. And that would have cost 8 iron. This one just cost 6 iron. So, it's cheaper. Doesn't cost quite as much iron. But now we're down to 30. So, I think we all know what the next thing I'm going to do is. We're going to have to take the mining ship out. Well, there's a fully armored skeleton. Come on, Pong. Yeah, I knew before I got around to playing, um, you know, 110, I knew that skeleton AI had been changed. And I knew that they would kind of try to keep their distance. But really what makes them harder is the fact that they move side to side a lot. Because it, it makes it really easy for them to move out of your line of sight. Or maybe I'm just terrible at this game. I don't know. <laughs> maybe, maybe that's the truth. Maybe that's what's going on. Okay. Let's get down here. So we've got our basic drawers. One by two. And there we go. That'll start filling the top up with this item, and it will fill the bottom up with the other item. Let's get our pipes back there really quickly. I think that's connecting. Ta-da! You should be filling with water. You are filling with water. You should be running. I guess it needs to fill up to a certain amount before it kicks on. Hmm. Okay, so it did use up some of that water just now. There we go. Yeah. So you're doing just fine. Now, we are going to use that carrot for trade. So, tell you what. I think it's it's probably smarter it's probably smarter to stick the carrot over here by itself let's switch in the topato where did we stick our potato did we bring a potato how could I possibly forget oh well whatever we'll let it grow there for now uh, this fellow should be oh there he is oh, no wonder but let's switch this out. The reason being, we're going to use potatoes, and basically we're going to feed ourselves with the potatoes, right? Um, but but we don't need huge amounts of them. There we go. We are going to want huge amounts of carrots because we're going to be trading them off. So, having stacks and stacks and stacks of carrots will be just fine. Whoa, creeper! Cre ha! 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 Creeper! Sneaking up on me, creeper. You jerk. Holy cow. I'm running back to the base and I hear the door open. Door? Why would a creeper? <laughs> Holy crap. That creeper. <sighs> I'm not going to live 
long enough to to retire. I'm not gonna. You know what? If everybody on the planet loved my YouTube videos or you know whatever, and uh, and they all just wanted to watch them every day, it wouldn't matter. I'm not gonna live long enough to see that happen because creepers are gonna give me a heart attack long before anything like that happened. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah. I don't know if I would want everyone on the planet watching my YouTube channel. I mean, you would, I, I assume you would end up incredibly rich if that happened. That's not terrible. But that kind of attention, I mean, look at the lives of movie stars and whatnot. Those people don't live very happy lives. They live easy lives. They don't live happy lives. So, I don't know that I want to have that kind of life. I don't know. Maybe I'm an idiot. Maybe being YouTube famous would be awesome. So, we'll get the last little bit of stuff hooked up here. Pick up that gunpowder. Come on, man, are you going to do it or not? You need to be number two for this episode. And you will go right here. Carrots. Okay. I think that does it. The only thing that we really need to change in here is the fact that the walls are just bare stone. Just bare, bare stone. Um, I really don't like it when people leave the walls as bare stone. It's not a good looking material. There are times where when bare stone can look okay. Uh, but they're not all that common. So I think what we'll do here... Can I... Nope, it needs to be a pick. There we go. I think what we'll do here is we'll keep the pipe outside. I think that looks a little better when we've got the pipe just sticking outside. Yeah, I like that. Um, we've got our redstone maxed. That's awesome. That didn't take long at all. We're going to have a good bit of sugar cane. Actually, now that I think about it, there may have been somebody that wanted to trade sugar for something emeralds or something. I don't know. So we'll have to think about that. we got a good supply of potatoes coming in. And we'll have a nice big fat supply of carrots coming in. 16 stacks of potatoes, that's probably fine. 16 stacks of sugar cane, probably more than enough. And carrots, we'll see. <laughs> If things go well, we may end up having uh, tons and tons of carrots to take with us. Just because that will let us um, get emeralds off of our trades. Yeah. So I need to go clean up my inventory. Need to stick that filter somewhere safe. Uh, in fact, let's go ahead and clear it out. Yeah. Speaking of the filter, let's go see if our empowerer is finished. Oh yeah, 27, 27. Nice. That worked really well. That turned out really well. Let's see if we have enough of the other stuff to finish this off. It was saplings. That should be enough. And glass. 4 times 27 is 81. So we'll need 81 glass. Oh wow. I think that's like one glass more than we need. Greenhouse, glass. Give it to me. Uh, no. We're just barely short.
And when I say just barely, I mean we're actually quite sure. We need a lot more glass. Okay, I'm going to cook that up. Uh, we'll craft the rest of them, and then we'll replace our roof of our uh, canola garden. We're going to have to replace this anyway. Creeper? Creeper? We're going to have to replace this anyway, so we might as well use it to craft the glass, the greenhouse glass, right? That makes sense to me. There's number two. Oh yeah. Okay, here we go. Up to the top. Greenhouse glass. Let's watch how fast this makes stuff start growing. You should be able to tell here in a minute. Alright, I remembered my builder's wand. We should be able to tell from the sound of the farmer. if it's increasing production by much. Wow, I see a lot of stuff happening down there. Let's go take a look. So how does it look? Kinda hard to tell. <laughs> Seems like it's harvesting pretty often though. Yeah, it feels like it's faster. Maybe I'm wrong. It feels like it's faster. Why is that dry? Oh, this broke. There we go. Yeah, it'll be good for this to stay uh, unfrozen because I believe if, um, if the ground is not hydrated, either the plant can't grow or it'll just grow much, much more slowly. So having all of it hydrated all the time would be a really good thing. Um, maybe we should stick something on top of that to make sure it doesn't freeze again. Maybe a slab. Do we have any slabs? Like wood slabs? Like, just like that. Oh, there they are. Yeah. Yeah, even just sticking a half slab on top of the water will keep it from freezing. It also keeps you from falling into it, which is nice. So, I don't know. It feels like that's probably going to cause it to harvest more quickly. Um, although, that does kind of increase the problem here, doesn't it? the seed thing is going to fill up even faster too, so we're going to have to deal with that. Hmm. <sighs> anyway, um, I only needed about 12 minutes to finish off this episode. I know we went over 12 minutes, so that's fine. Some of these episodes are longer than others. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. A little more base building and developing our tech compared to that big, long swimming around underwater railgun shooting adventure we had before. And uh, anyway, see you next time.